Hey guys, it's Colonel Coffee here, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 Leviathan Raid video, and in this one we're going to be talking about the Pleasure Gardens. Now, this is the second trial that we had to face, so we had the first one, which was the Royal Pools. Go back to the main hub, open the next door, and it leads you to this area. So when you first come into this area, it's basically a giant circular room with trees and bushes everywhere. It's just like a giant forest area, and at the very back there's this little building here. Now this building is going to be closed at first, so what you want to do is kill all of the adds in the area. When all the adds are dead, it's going to spawn two of these weapons. They're kind of like two meteor looking things on top of the small building. Now you want to designate two people that are going to be in charge of those two weapons, and the other four people that are going to be down below in charge of these purple orbs. Now to start this whole sequence off, the two people that are designated to those weapons need to pick them up. As soon as they're picked up, the whole sequence will begin. Now when the two weapons are picked up, the room will then open up for the four people to drop down and you're going to see these purple orbs in just around the area for people to pick up. Now all four people have to pick up these orbs and then they have to sneak around this whole map looking for these plant looking things. Now there's several plant looking things in the area, there's maybe six or seven or eight, and they're going to be glowing purple in specific order. Now it's going to be random every single time, so it's up to you, you need to learn the direction and the, you need to learn the layout of this whole area for this to go a bit seamless. So as you can see here this one's glowing purple so what you want to do is have all four people that are holding an orb just stand next to it and then one of the people up top with the stone weapons are going to shoot it and when you shoot it you're going to get this empowerment, empowered spores and it's going to be times 12 providing all four people were next to the plant when it was shot at. Now for the two people up top that are holding the weapons they can only shoot if they're standing inside a golden light. Now these golden lights are going to be spread along, along the top of this area on the rocks, the rocks and stuff like that. So if they want to jump from rock to rock to light to light, they can guide you through here. Now the reason I say that you have to sneak is because the aim of the game here is there is five war beasts or five hellhounds, whatever you want to call them. They're just they're cabal dogs, and uh, they're basically five named bosses. Now you have to sneak past them, kind of like the Gorgons from Destiny 1 in the Vault of Glass. If you trigger them, then you will have about 30 seconds to get back to the room where you picked up these orbs and the door will close. So it's, it's kind of like a safe room. Now the safe room activates four times, well three times, you get the first rotation and then you go to the safe room for the first time and then the second and third time. So you get four rotations of this all together. Now this sounds a little bit complex, but let me just explain the strategy that we use as best as I can. So what you want to do is have the two people up top ready to guide you through this entire area. The four people down below have to stick together the whole time, and when the two people up top call out which of the plants are glowing purple, you have to make your way there as fast as possible. Now when you're all there and the person up top shoots it, you will get empowered 12. Now you want to make your way to the second purple glowing plant. When you get there, it will be another 12, so you'll be in power 24. Now so long as you don't get seen and you're quick, you can get to four plants and have a max empowerment of 48. This is your damage increase, so the higher your empowerment, the more damage you can do to the beasts. Now the issue we have is when you kill three beasts, it's going to basically set an enraged timer and you're going to get about 30 seconds to kill the next two so it's extremely difficult and you have to kind of time this right so the method that we used is you basically get four DPS phases so on the first DPS phase we got 48 empowerment and we basically damaged all five of the hounds so they were maybe about half health each on the second rotation we damaged them even more and I think we killed the two on the left now on the third rotation you go out and you try and kill them all because as soon as the third one is dead they're going to enrage. So just to reiterate, you damage all five of them until they're low health. On the second rotation you kill the two on the left because they're always in the same positions. And then on the third and maybe the fourth rotation depending on how well you do on damage, you kill the other three. So just try not to kill them all too quick, just damage them all first and worry about killing them all on another rotation. Now once you've killed all five beasts, you will end this part of the raid and you will get your reward. It's the chest on top of this building. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.